Hello again. Now we're going to add in this part the background, the oval colour. And we do that by creating a new layer and we put it underneath the background copy layer. Now we've got a colour brown here, a nice browny colour, and I'm happy with that. But you can select whichever colour you want. It's up to you. The choice is yours, but you can actually change it at a later date. But I'm happy with what I've got. Now if we go up to edit and we fill, and we will get a nice background colour. And you can see how it fades into it. Now to make it more realistic, uh, we would go, we will change the colour picture itself into a nice black and white colour. So we go to black and white under mode, adjustments, black and white, and it turns it into a black and white picture. But if you click on the tint, we get a sepia tone colour. And you can warm it up and do what you like with it. Nice, so that the, the colours actually match. It's very similar. And I'm happy with that. Now when you're finished with it, you can now flatten it. <coughs> and you can actually then, if you feel it's a bit strong, you can go back and you can just lighten it up a little bit. Or you can darken it down a bit, as you like. But I'm happy with it as it is. And that's all there is to it.